Now, the story, okay, so, so and, and I, I'm trying to remember this. I remember talking to you about it um, years, like 20 years ago, probably. But So now, Owen went to, um, was it University of Calgary? Yes, he did, yeah. Okay, so he went and to got a scholarship on, there. On, on, a rest, on a wrestling scholarship. Now, did they cut the program is, is a, or something like that? Like, what happened there? Um, because he was, he was doing really well in college wrestling, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Uh, you know, I was on the same team with him. We wrestled in 1983, 1984, I think. Actually, I think it was 1984. Um, and, uh, you know, he received a scholarship and competed in some provincial championships and, you know, always, uh, play second or third in provincial championships. I think actually called for, uh, the nationals, uh, the next year, but, um, uh, then they just sort of cut the funding for the program. Uh, they said there wasn't, uh, enough funding to pay scholarships for wrestlers and, uh, uh, and things just sort of fell into place for him to uh, get into pro wrestling. And he, he had finished his uh, semester in university. I think this was the next year, like in 1986. And uh, as it turned out, Bruce had gotten injured. Bruce was uh, the only hard wrestling for the Stampede promotion at that time. Brett had already gone to the WWF. And, um, you know, Keith was sort of semi-retired. He was firefighting and occasionally wrestling, but just part-time. And uh, I remember Bruce... Uh, uh, blew his knee uh, in, in a match and uh, um, tore his ACL and had to have a surgery and was going to be out for about, about six months. And uh, you know, Bruce approached Owen about coming in and doing an angle to work. Uh, um, in fact, they had they had they shot an angle for Owen to come in and be Bruce's tag partner just just before Bruce got injured. And then when Bruce did get injured in in a subsequent match right after that, um, Owen sort of became. Uh, the lone heart to wrestle, but he, he was originally going to do it just um, in his semester off from school, like from like April till the fall, and then go back to university. But uh, um, he he just did so well with the wrestling was was and you know he's making good money with it, and he really uh, revitalized the promotion, which uh, which it was tough. We were barely surviving; we weren't drawing very well. Um, you know, a lot of our big stars had gone to the WWF. We had lost. Brett and Jim Neidhart, we had lost the British Bulldogs, and uh, WWF uh, had the major TV exposure, and, you know, uh, a lot of our top stars had, had moved on, either gone to uh, Japan or Germany or uh, WWF or maybe some even to WCW. So, uh, in a sense, when Owen debuted and got over so well as the youngest uh, heart and uh, sort of a teen sensation, uh, it was just incredible. And uh, him, and, you know, to an extent Chris Benoit who had actually uh, broken in a few months earlier um, you know gave, gave the promotion a, a resurgence you know and uh, you know because if, if it hadn't been for Owen I, I don't think uh, the promotion would have lasted much longer we were losing a lot of money the crowds weren't very big uh, there was a lot of uh, uh, dissension with the long trips and uh, some of the poor crowds and uh, when Owen came in and um, just sort of set the promotion on fire and had some great matches with Muck and Singh and uh, Great Gamma and uh, uh, some incredible matches with the Via Kong Express and then that broke into uh, some singles matches with uh, Hiro Hasi after. Um, but I think uh, because it had gone so well and he was making good money, he just stayed in professional wrestling. I think he, he just decided to put university uh, on hold and make some money you know, and, um, and then just see what happened. You know, I think he always planned to go back to university and maybe get his teacher's degree like, uh, Bruce and Keith had. And, um, I had got my teacher's degree and I think Owen just, uh, thought that would be a, a very stable, solid career. And he would have been a fantastic phys ed teacher or, or any academic teacher if he'd wanted, but, but, um, he just kind of got swept with wrestling and he was doing so well with it, making good money and just saw the opportunity to, to travel and, uh, uh, you know, and he he didn't seem to to mind the notoriety and uh, the the you know the the lifestyle, and uh, you know he became uh, uh, such a popular figure in the city. You know, Owen was uh, the newest heart, you know, to become a sensational wrestler and uh, really rose to become the top star of the promotion. But uh, he deserved that. He was actually the most talented uh, performer on the shows, and uh, in a sense, he he saved the promotion from going down.